So now that we've covered briefly some examples of when to and when not to use multi-part modeling, let's take a look at a specific technique you can use to build robust designs in Onshape, the master sketch technique. Think of the master sketch technique as using a single sketch to drive multiple parts in your design. In this example, I'm designing a cantilever clamp with several parts. I want to model all of the unique interrelated parts together in the same part studio using this sketch. A few things to notice about this sketch. Notice that there are multiple closed contours in one sketch. With Onshape, you can use these contours to create a single part or multiple parts. It's up to you. So you don't have to think in terms of one sketch, one feature. Here I have sketched both arms of my cantilever clamp in the same sketch. If I wanted to extrude the first arm, simply click Extrude and choose the contours associated with that arm from the graphics. It's important to remember that if you choose the sketch from the feature list, it will select everything in the sketch. So now we've extruded the first arm in our example, and we want to extrude the second. One big tip is by default, when a sketch is used by a feature, it is automatically hidden. But you can show the sketch by clicking the eye symbol next to it in the feature list. Now that our sketch is showing, we can create our second extrude for the second arm. So now I'll select the contours for the second arm and set my depth and direction. And here is an important step. By default, you can see the extrude command is set to add, meaning this extrude that I'm currently creating will be added to or merged with another part. You can see the name of the part it will be added to in the merge scope. Now, of course, in our example, I want to create a new second arm, not merge this extrude with our previous arm. So instead of add, I will click New. Notice that as soon as I do this, a new part is added to the parts list. These options are what we call Boolean options, and they include the ability to create new parts, add to existing parts, remove or cut a part or parts, and intersect, which will leave you only what is intersecting between your feature and the part or parts defined in the merge scope. So now that we have two arms, we need to add the pins that join the arms. Remember, the master sketch technique does not necessarily mean only creating and using one sketch. It just means that one sketch is driving everything. So we can create a new sketch, for instance on the face of the top arm, and with the use command, convert a circle from the master sketch into the current sketch. Or we can use the offset command to offset geometry from the master sketch. You can even sketch geometry and add dimensions related to the master sketch. In all of these examples, the master sketch is still driving all of the geometry. We are just creating a new sketch and referencing the original for the sake of creating the pins. I can do this one more time, this time on the face of the bottom arm, and we've created all the sketch geometry we need for the pins. So now we have two sketches on two different planes, and we want to create our pins. Simply click the extrude command from the toolbar. Click on both sketches and all four pins will be created. Notice four new parts in our Part Studio. So what would be the benefit of modeling this way? Having a design driven from a single sketch means making changes to the design is simple. Because everything is driven from the sketch, a change to this sketch will change the size, position, and orientation of many different parts all at once. So in my example, I can make a simple dimension change and you can see the size of both arms update as well as the location of the pins. 